This article covers the phonology of the Uyghur language. Uyghur, a Turkic language spoken primarily in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region features both vowel harmony and some vowel reduction also plays a role. Vowels Uyghur vowels are by default short, but some phonologists have argued that long vowels also exist because of historical vowel assimilation above and through loanwords. Underlyingly long vowels would resist vowel reduction and devoicing, introduce non-final stress, and be analyzed as vj, or vr, before a few suffixes. However, the conditions in which they are actually pronounced as distinct from their short counterparts have not been fully researched. Official Uyghur orthographies do not mark vowel length, and also do not distinguish between e.g., bilam bulam, knowledge, and back, e.g., tilam tlm, my language. These two sounds are in complementary distribution, but phonological analyses claim that they play a role in vowel harmony and are separate phonemes. The high vowels, are devoiced in non-stressed positions when they occur between two voiceless consonants, or in word initial position before a voiceless consonant, e.g. uka k older brother, putin ptn entire, iki kk. E only occurs in words of non-Turkic origin and is the result of vowel raising. Topic: <laughs> Vowel reduction. Uyghur has two processes of systematic vowel reduction or vowel raising unrounded non-high vowels and a in initial open syllables followed by are changed to e unrounded vowels in other non-final open syllables are changed to the former process is applied before the latter as with other phenomena long vowels are exempt for example l plus l cf turkish allen take T plus LR plus M's, T alarms, CF. Turkish adalarimas our fathers not asterisk etlerms in Uyghur because reduction to e can only be applied before reduction to in a word. T plus M, etim, CF. Turkish adam my horse. P ash R plus M, pay erm, my feather in some loanwords, vowel raising does not occur. Topic: Vowel harmony. Uyghur, like other Turkic languages, displays vowel harmony. Words usually agree in vowel backness, but compounds, loans, and some other exceptions often break vowel harmony. Suffixes surface with the rightmost back value in the stem, and e are transparent as they don't contrast for backness. Uyghur also has rounding harmony. Topic consonants Uyghur voiceless stops are aspirated word initially and intervocalically. The pairs p, b, t, d, k and q alternate with the voiced member devoicing in syllable final position except in word initial syllables this devoicing process is usually reflected in the official orthography but an exception has been recently made for certain perso arabic loans voiceless phonemes do not become voiced in standard uyghur suffixes display a slightly different type of consonant alternation the phonemes and anywhere in a suffix alternate as governed by vowel harmony where occurs with front vowels and with back ones. Devoicing of a suffix initial consonant can occur only in the cases of d, t, k, and q, when the preceding consonant is voiceless. Lastly, the rule that must occur with front vowels and with back vowels can be broken when either k or q in suffix initial position becomes assimilated by the other due to the preceding consonant being such, stops and affricates lenite when preceding a dissimilar consonant. t goes to d to K to C and Q to Chi goes to in word initial syllables, but in non initial syllables and behave like their unvoiced equivalents and go to C and Chi respectively. These changes are not reflected in orthography, except when B lenites to V or W as. Similarly, H tends to become Chi before another consonant. Lenition also occurs in certain intervocalic contexts, e.g., B lenites to beta and not marked, Uyghur displays vocalic assimilation, atypical among Turkic languages. Syllable final, r, l, and j, are optionally assimilated to the preceding vowel which is lengthened, in the case of e and u, made lower and less tense, e.g., zelqeller x ash ql ash the nations. However, this never occurs when, l, and j, are word final. 
This phenomenon occurs most common in colloquial speech, but is often avoided when reciting, reading, or singing. As a result, Uyghur speakers often hypercorrect by inserting an r after a long vowel where there is no phonemic r, especially after attaching a vowel initial suffix e.g. bina building, binarum or binayam my building. In addition, although this is not represented orthographically, a few cases of r deletion have been lexicalized, such as tt tot for. Lone phonemes have influenced Uyghur to various degrees. d and x were borrowed from Arabic and have been nativized, while from Persian less so. F only exists in very recent Russian and Chinese loans, since Perso-Arabic and older Russian and Chinese, F, became Uyghur, P. Perso-Arabic loans have also made the contrast between K and Q phonemic, as they occur as allophones in native words, the former set near front vowels and the latter near a back vowels. Some speakers of Uyghur distinguish V from with in Russian loans, but this is not represented in most orthographies. Other phonemes occur natively only in limited contexts, i.e., h, only in few interjections, d, and, rarely initially, and, z, only morpheme final. Therefore, the pairs asterisk, t, d, asterisk, and asterisk, s, z, do not alternate. Phonotactics <laughs> <laughs> The primary syllable structure of Uyghur is CV -C -C. Uyghur syllable structure is usually CV or CVC, but CVCC can also occur in some words. When syllable coda clusters occur, CC tends to become CVC in some speakers especially if the first consonant is not a sonorant. In Uyghur, any consonant phoneme can occur as the syllable onset or coda, except for which only occurs in the onset and which never occurs word initially. In general, Uyghur phonology tends to simplify phonemic consonant clusters by means of elision and apenthesis. 